Well, have you ever got to meet the president? No. You got to be kidding me. And I know it's just so disgusting that he won't acknowledge a Navy, won't acknowledge you. That's so disrespectful to me. But you guys well, have... He, he... Go he actually ahead. did acknowledge. Okay, he did, but year, remember uh, the Christmas thing? Didn't he post a Christmas uh, card and, and Navy was not on it? Isn't that the big conspiracy or a big controversy? Excuse me. They've had ugh, multiple ones, but um, yeah, there's been some with like stockings at the White House getting left out. And then, you know, then the year that they do acknowledge Navy, they don't put any stockings up. And so that was. It's been a big deal. Wow. And hey, like I said, there's some heartbreaking stories in there that'll and angry. I mean, as a mother, it's it's disappointing and heartbreaking. And I tell people all the time, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, but hell hath no greater fury than a woman whose baby is being scorned. I have a question. Yeah. Hi, Lindsay. I'm Lila. It's nice to Hi. meet you. You're very beautiful. Um, Thank does, you. Does Hunter have a relationship with his daughter? Yeah, so it's it's also a book about redemption because, you know, I talk about all these emotions and all these, and I tell so many different stories as to how those emotions come about. Mm -hmm. But um, it wasn't until last year him and I were able to sit down for the first time since I had been pregnant. And um, that was the last time that I'd actually sat and had a conversation with him. And our child was fixing to be five years old and we sat down and he agreed to do like Zoom calls once a month with her over, you know, and she could pick out like a painting or something like that. And they could engage through art because two of the most important things to him, it claims, is, mm -hmm. you know, art that got it, brought him out of that dark place and that addiction and his family that also brought him out of that dark place and addiction. So they started with Zoom calls in, um, you know, about once a month. And then they started developing a relationship to where then it became, you know, once a week and then a couple times a week. And then, you know, Navy has a T-ball game and he wants to call her and give her a little pep talk before the game and stuff like that. And, and how have you talked to Hunter about it? What does Hunter's, you know, other family members think of Navy? Do they want to be involved? Not just uh, Joe, but, you know, his sisters and the other people in this family. I you know, I don't know. No, we've, we've not really had that discussion. Mm. Um, I'd been advised by my attorneys prior to is, you know, the advice they gave me was grandparents and family normally doesn't step into a child's life until the father takes on that role. Yeah. And so, you know, that was, that was something that, that was new, but yeah. It's tough. I, I, it makes me emotional, too, because it's just... It's so, tough. and It's tough because I, they're I, I, wealthy and they're powerful. And, you know, Navy, you know, sadly, this is a harsh reality. Is we're all going to be dead. And Navy's still going to be alive. And she's still going to be the president's granddaughter, right? And she deserves respect for that because, you know, any lineage to a president of the United States, whether we like him or not, is a big deal. And then she doesn't get that, I mean, for lack of a better word, clout. You know, she doesn't get that presidential treatment. I don't know how else to describe it. And it's kind of a travesty when all the other family members have that experience. So I don't know. Are you familiar with Jerry Jones, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys? Um, um, no, I'm not. Well, he had a daughter out of wedlock. And what he did was is, is they did a DNA test and he uh, would admit, excuse me, he would not admit that he was the father and she could not say that she's a father, but he gave her $3 million and paid for her college. Well, after she basically ran out of the money, she came out and said, I'm your daughter. And now Jerry Jones is trying to take back the money because she violated the NDA. Wow. So to me, and you got to look this up, Jerry Jones is or his daughter. He's a family man. He's all about his family. Joe Biden's all about his family. Yet they have actual blood related family members that they won't take care of. Why is that? Why do you think that that happens, London? You know, I don't know. And that's something that I've never been able to understand. I know, you know, Hunter, when we were actually able to sit down and talk, blamed it on this toxic legal uh, litigation and legal action that I had taken with the paternity suit. But that was just me trying to hold him accountable. And yeah. then, you know, so, many, so much happened during that time. And I think, you know, maybe his family has that uh, that the whole persona of me and, and that I brought this toxic litigation into their life. And so they want to keep their distance, but at the same time, it's, it is, it is their grandchild. And, you know, she does that picture you showed, um, earlier, um, of the, I think, yeah, that's, uh, one of the main reasons that we don't turn the news on at the house is because, you know, Navy knows that that's her father and that's her grandfather. And she knows that's her little brother. 
and she's seen pictures. She's asked me questions, and I've been open and yeah, honest how, with yeah, her about it. Sorry to cut you off. How do you explain the relationship to your daughter that your grandfather is the president of the United States, but he's basically doesn't want a relationship? I mean, how do you explain that? It has to be very tough, London. It, it, it is very tough. It's always been, I always say, and I, I in the book, I, I give the exact conversation that I have with Navy when I tell her, you know, who her dad is. And because she's she gets, starts getting older and she sees these children who have a mother and a father. And she's like, where's my dad? Like, why, why do I just have a mom? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I tell her, you do have a dad. And um, I tell her and she wants to see a picture of him. I show her this, the best picture that I could find of him because. I've said, you know, I I will always, always speak highly about him, especially to her, because that's her father. One day, it, yeah, that's that's exactly right. And one day, the way she feels about him will solely depend on him and what he does as a father. And it's it's tough because you and she's so young, so you just I've told her over and over again. You know, he's busy. He's busy. You know, he's got things he's got, he's got, he's helping other people. And, and it's like when I explained to her, you know, that her grandfather was president of the United States and she's like, well, what is that? So I tell her about the books that we read kind of like Kings and Queens and stuff like that and how they like run countries. And then the country that we live in, you know, he runs this country. That's a funny she's like, analogy. Oh. <laughs> she said, well, that's why he's not been to see me because he's helping so many other people, but he'll see me when he's done. And I was like, yeah. I'm so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself.